So when you've worked on homework problems, you've done things like, you know, uh, system down to Printlet. We use that all the time to figure out what's going on. In Android, it's interesting because your app has a UI. So it's like, where would system data out Printland go? So it turns out that system data out Printland does actually work, um, but it doesn't work exactly the way you think it might. Uh, so let's look at that first, and then we'll look at the better way. Um, so let me go into some code that I know is getting run, and I'm gonna put a system out Printlin, uh, and I'll print something sort of distinctive. Um, so I'm gonna stop this, I'm gonna rerun my app, I see that it's uh, running. I'm going to open up the log cat tab so I can see the logs. And I see this message. I can look for hey there. Now, when you use system.app.println, the messages appear in the logging messages that your app produces. But they appear using the info level and with the system.out tag. And that's not usually what you want. Usually what you want to do is you want to use uh, Android's built-in logging system. So that library is imported in many of the files already as android.util.log. If it's not imported, you can add that import quite easily. If you just start typing log, it will normally come up. Oh, did Android Studio die on me? It does this. Don't die on me, come on. Well, come on. Definitely. Apparently it does not want me to share valuable information with you about logging. I don't know if it's gonna come back or not. Should we force quit it? Oh uh, yeah, come on, Android Studio. Let's, we can do better. Wish I could say that never happened. Can't say it never happens. So we'll just restart it. CD. Okay, so this is bringing this up again. I'm going to shut down the emulator just to make sure that I get a fresh copy. Um, so where did it go? Here we go. All right, so what was I doing? So I was, I was not in here. I was in um, main.activity and I was looking at how to do logging. I think I'd started to write something. Yeah, so logging in Android, there are two um, rather than just a... So, the, the second argument to log is a string, and that can be any string, anything that you would print using system.out.println. The first argument is a tag. And you may wonder, like, a tag is also a string. Tags are used to organize the log output. Uh, and, the, and, and this is really useful when you're debugging because frequently you've got log messages in from other things you were doing, and sometimes you want to only look at, like, one particular part of, the, uh, of your app. And so you can use something like... Um, and then here, right? The third thing that's different about logging is you get to choose a level. So log messages, there's actually a, this is my favorite, right? So this is the highest log message available on Android. It's called WTF, um, stands for what you think. Uh, this is a message designed to uh, display complete and utter shock that something has happened in a particular way. This is like, this should never happen if you use this tag. Let's try it and find out. Um, this is the highest possible log level. This basically means like not only did something go wrong, but this is something that I never expected to happen in 10 million years that happened, right? And so if we look here and we do like an error log and come on, um, you'll see a uh, testing tag here. And I think it just uses the error uh, tag for this, right? Um, there are other levels, so a warning log, right? That's log.w. Um, this is a less high level. Uh, warnings are usually in places where like something happened in the app that you weren't expecting. It's not like a critical problem, uh, but you're still worried about it, right? It's like this could cause a problem, it's not an error. An error is usually when something happened that's wrong. Uh, that, that that you didn't expect, or is it a problem? And then you can all you go all the way down to uh, does it have a no? It doesn't have a trace tag. So V is the lowest log level. That's that's for verbose. Uh, verbose logs are what they sound like. They produce a lot of output. Um, they can be helpful sometimes, but they can also just produce a lot of noise. And you'll see here that in Android Studio, I can control the log level that is uh, displayed. 
these are levels. So verbose says, give me everything, right? Um, if I go up to error, that says only give me errors and above, error and WTF. Um, verbose would give me verbose, debug, info, warn, and error. Um, and so this allows me to kind of zero in and figure out exactly what I want to look at. The tag is useful because I can use that in this um, search. And so one thing I could do if I just wanted to see all the logs, sorry, from this testing tag is I would put verbose and then I would type testing tag in the search. And now, assuming the testing tag doesn't appear over here somewhere in the message, that would zero in on just those tags. So this is a great way of zeroing in on a particular thing that your app is doing. So this is super helpful. This is essentially the equivalent of uh, printf or system.printlin for your Android applications.